Coverage in North Providence Middle School is going green. The groundbreaking was held today for a new state-of-the-art greenhouse. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo has the details on how this will benefit students now and in the future. Students here at Birchwood Middle School are already taking agriculture classes, but a new greenhouse that will be built will only enhance their learning. Um, this is what it's all about. You are our future. At Birchwood Middle School in North Providence, the science of growing is expanding. And hopefully this will uh, make uh, each and every one of you have a, how can I say, a green thumb. So at this point, we've been growing things hydroponically indoors. Oh, cool. um, so we have hydroponic tomatoes and hydroponic lettuce growing. In addition, they have a traditional garden growing here. 150 students are enrolled in the agricultural program. Today, a groundbreaking was held for a new greenhouse which will expand the learning and keep the growing going year round. So our greenhouse is 24 by 48. The Champlin grant gave us $30,000 to build it. Um, we're fortunate enough to be partnering with Giacovoni Construction, who's offered to build the greenhouse um, free of charge with all the labor. Saving on labor and other costs will enable the school to purchase other equipment like Chromebooks and cameras. This project-based learning, as it's known, puts the science being learned into action. The students will be able to also have that community connection where they're growing the plants and we have our um, student uh, farm stand that's student run. The kids are uh, growing the plants, they're setting the prices, they're learning about profits and budgets and whatnot. Next year they hope to incorporate the lettuce and tomatoes and peas and other plants into the school lunches. So that the information that they are typically getting from textbooks and whatnot are they're actually having experience in it um, that really will make hopefully an impact on them for the rest of their lives. Construction of the greenhouse will begin right away and it should be ready for use by the beginning of the next school year. I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.